Hello, this is Angelia with today's Bible reading. Today's reading comes from Galatians 4, Heirship in Christ. Now I say, as long as the heir is a child, he does not differ at all from a slave, although he is owner of everything. But he is under guardians and managers until the date set by the father. So also we... While we were children, were held in bondage until the elemental things of the world. Excuse me. But when the fullness of the time came, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law, so that he might redeem those who were under the law, that we might receive the adoption as sons and daughters. Because you are our sons and daughters. God has sent forth the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father, therefore you are no longer a slave, but a son or a daughter. And if a son or daughter, then an heir through God. So, see, we, we have joined the family through Jesus. Um, and we are heirs to the kingdom of God um, because Jesus has you know, adopted us into the family. <clears throat> However, at that time, when you did not know God, you were slaves to those which by nature are no gods. And see, when you're not saved, before you know God, um, you are slave to your wants, your desires, your impulses, you know, but when you get to know God, you're supposed to be done with that. You're supposed to be, you know, um, more interested in becoming like Jesus, walking in your be like Jesus shoes. Um, so when you're of the world, when you're worldly, before you know God, those are the things you're concerned with, things of the world. Uh, but then when you know God, <clears throat> you will change, your heart will change, and you will be more concerned with how God wants you to be rather than how everybody else wants you to be or how you want you to be in the world. But now that you have come to know God, or rather to be known by God, because God chose you. You might think you chose God, but God orchestrated every little step so that there would come a point where you would have a choice to choose him. So God knew you. Now, is it that you turn back again to the weak and worthless elemental things? To which you desire to be enslaved all over again. And he's talking about elemental things. You know. Um, and there are uh, belief systems where, you know, uh, spirits of the wood and earth and fire and water and things of that nature are worshipped. Um, and, you know, what Paul is saying is you were doing this before you heard about Jesus. Um, and then you came to Jesus. But now you've gone back to these things. These Idols, basically, um, or spirits. Um, <laughs> you got to watch out for some of those because some of those are not good. Some spirits are good. Not all of them are good. Uh, so, you know, he's kind of in disbelief that they would go back to, you know, the elemental things. You know, that doesn't make sense to him. You observe days and months and seasons and years. Again, there are belief systems that observe these for, you know, things, and they have ceremonies and things, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to knock people, but <laughs> uh, Jesus saves. I fear for you that perhaps I have labored over you in vain. And, you know, that's how any of us would feel if, um, excuse me, uh, we had um, ministered you know, to people, and then they went back, you know, to doing the things they were doing before, and we would all feel frustrated. I beg of you, brethren and sisters, become as I am, for I also have become as you are. You have done me no wrong, but you know that it was because of a bodily illness that I preached the gospel to you first time, and that which was a trial to you in my bodily condition 
you did not despise or loathe, but you received me as an angel of God, as Christ Jesus himself. And now he's speaking figuratively. Um, you know, this is kind of what uh, John Lennon got in trouble for, you know. <laughs> but he's saying figuratively, you were so into, you know, me coming and, you know, teaching you this. Um, that you treated me like as if I were an angel or Jesus himself. Where then is that sense of blessing you had? For I bear you witness that, if possible, you would have plucked out your eyes and given them to me. Again, metaphorically, you know. So have I become your enemy by telling you the truth? And unfortunately, sometimes that happens. You tell people the truth, and they don't like the truth sometimes, because that's showing them something they're doing an error, you know, to the way of God, or salvation, however you want to put that. So sometimes people will become your enemy, because you tell them something they don't want to hear. They eagerly seek you, not, not commendably, but they wish to shut you out, that you will seek them and he's talking about the spirits of the elementals there but it is good always to be eagerly sought in a commendable manner and not only when I am present with you so he's saying uh, basically they're uh, kind of hypocritical when he's there they're all into you know uh, being saved and you know being Christian and then when he's not there they're back with elemental things, you know, doing their thing. My children, with whom I am again in labor until Christ is formed in you. Again, metaphorically, Paul could not be in labor. <laughs> uh, but I could wish to be present with you now to change my tone. For I am perplexed about you. And, you know, that's how... A lot of us feel, you know, when you get saved and you, you wonder why people don't want to be, you know, why they think this natural way of life, you know, is the way to be. But even it's, it's a false natural way because God created nature and God created the way everything works, you know, so God knows all about nature. Um, so, again, if uh, you're all into nature, you'd be worshiping the creator who created all this not little guys and it's what I said to one person who is you know kind of pushing you know some uh well unchristian belief systems on me wanting me to take part and I said well I mean if you boil it down to the very bottom not even to talk about God or Sebastian or whatever if I have the ear of the commander in chief why am I going to mess around with little foot soldiers? You know? That's how that's how I look at that one. <laughs> so, anyway, Paul is confused. Because if you accept Christ, you have heirship as a son or daughter of the kingdom of heaven. And um, these people are backsliding and he's kind of confused about the whole thing. Amen. That's all for now.